Hi everybody and welcome to your training tonight which is Detox 101 Discover how to use foods, herbs and therapies to detox from all diseases. I'm so glad you're on here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love having you here to listen and learn about how to cleanse and detox your body. I recently did a survey and got hundreds and hundreds of responses of people just like yourself that are wondering how to get started on detoxing and cleansing and really confused and frustrated about not knowing where to go, how to do this, and is it complicated or is it easy or what needs to be done. So I'm so glad you're here because I would love to teach you and show you that it is really quite easy, really quite simple to do as long as you know what you're doing, right? So first of all, let's look at this. Why do we need to detox and cleanse? It's because there are hundreds of thousands of toxins all around us. Just so you see the numbers here, 300,000 toxins are in foods, 100,000 toxins are in drinks. So anything that's in bottled, anything that's in uh, package or any kind of uh, container has hundreds of thousands of chemicals, over 200,000 chemicals in the air that you breathe. So when you go to the office and you're enclosed in this environment where you know there's no windows open and the carpeting and the furniture and recirculated air all causes major problems in your body. 100,000 chemicals in your water. There are you know, different type of filters that are being used, but it's really not enough to get rid of all those toxins. And, and there's 200,000 emotional stressors. And what that means is all the stress that we go through each and every day actually causes our body's pH to change and our health. 100,000 heavy metals. So this kind of give you, gives you an overall idea, like how many hundreds of thousands of toxins there are and why it's so important to detox and cleanse. I know years ago, over 30 years ago, when I was learning from my teachers, they would say, oh, there's hundreds of toxins in the foods and drinks and air and water and all these things. Now it's hundreds of thousands. It's crazy how much there is out there. And what happens is, is when those toxins come in, it causes problems in your body. Your body's not meant to take that much. It just can't do it. It's overworked underpaid and then what happens is you get anything from uh, hot flashes you're feeling hot all the time constant fatigue mood swings headaches migraines bad breath constipation insomnia muscle pain skin problems weight gain all these things and this is just a short list all these things to show that when your body is toxic and overloaded it just simply cannot keep up and you're going to have some kind of symptoms. And of course, eventually uh, you could you could do, uh, you could get away with some of these things, you know, getting some headaches and, you know, some skin problems and weight issues, but eventually it gets into serious diseases. And that's where I get concerned because I'm seeing more and more and more of you really challenged with anything from cancer to lupus to Lyme's to many, many, many different diseases. And it all starts because there's just a toxic overload in your body. So we need to deal with that. So let me ask you this, do you know where those toxins are stored? Now, typically a medical doctor will say, well, look, you have these organs to get rid of toxins. You have your liver, your kidneys, your lungs, your skin, your colon, and that typically gets rid of toxins. And that is absolutely true. Those are the organs that are meant to get rid of toxins on a daily basis. But as you saw right from the beginning, I said there are hundreds of thousands of toxins. Your body simply can't deal with it. So the first thing it does is tries to store it. So where does it store? In your fat. That's the first place. So you can see on here the subcutaneous fat. And then you have your abdominal cavity and there's a bunch of fat over here as well to protect your organs. And so your liver, like I said, your kidneys, your gallbladder, your colon, your large intestine all try to deal with the toxins, but this is really where it's hanging out. The, the toxins are in your fat. So that's a great reason to lose weight, but certainly not the only reason. It's to help get rid of the toxins that are stored in there. But here's the problem that losing a few pounds is really not enough because the toxins are still going to be in 
your body. And then lots of times people tell me, oh, well, you know, I'm trying these different herbal supplements. I go down the health food store and I, and I try out these different supplements to get rid of the toxins and do some cleansing. But those are not enough either because there's just so many toxins now. A few herbal supplements are not enough. And changing your diet is certainly not enough. It's great. I mean, it's wonderful to become maybe a vegetarian or a vegan or do the raw food thing, whatever. That's great. It's wonderful because you're getting rid of the junk and all the other processed foods that have chemicals on there. But again, it's just not enough. I've, I've watched over the years that the last few years, especially, it's getting worse. The disease rate is getting much, much higher at a much younger age. And so all these things are simply not enough. We have to be a little bit more vigilant and a little bit more aggressive on this. So let me show you the easy way because there really is an easy way. And the hard way is, you know, you keep wasting time and money going on a diet plan or buying these supplements that supposedly cleanse you out. And you're just really spending a lot of time needlessly and a lot of money that you're just throwing out because you're not getting the results. You're not really going to get rid of the toxins that are causing the problems in the first place. So let's go to the easy way. I like easy. I think you do too. And I want to show you that easy way so you don't have any problems. So a little bit about me. Some of you might be new on here. Some of you know me from uh, the years and years I've been teaching. But those of you who don't know me, I'm Judy Seeger. I've been trained as a naturopathic physician. I am now retired. I don't officially have a clinic anymore. Uh, I have over 30 years experience. I have been the director of two health clinics, one in Green Bay, Wisconsin, one in San Diego, California. I have been an international speaker, love speaking internationally. It's been wonderful. I am the author of a few books on detoxing. And I have a web TV show that is called Detox and Recharge TV. But my big claim to fame, which I absolutely love to brag about because I worked very hard at it and so many people have been helped by it. That's really why I did it originally. I'm a YouTube star, which means I have over 1.5 million viewers and that number is climbing every single day. And that's exciting because they're all tutorials, all teaching about how to detox and cleanse on many different levels. So lots and lots of fun there to be able to do that. So here's what you're going to learn in this webinar training. You're going to learn about the foods to start detoxing. So if you've never, ever, ever detoxed and you've always wanted to try it and you've not been sure like what direction to go to, the food is the easiest way to do that. You could do lots of different kind of detoxing just by using foods. We're going to keep it super simple. And I'm going to get into specific herbs to use, but here's the one that is the really important one is the natural therapies to start detoxing and then the system. So you need to know the system, how you're going to put this all together to keep it simple and yet get great results. So let's start detoxing. Let me show you how to get that started. First of all, I always, always teach my three step formula. This is something that I've come up with. It's called the three R's. Very, very simple, super, super important to stay healthy. I follow it myself. I've been teaching it for years. Everybody who is my friend, who is a professional, all say the exact same thing, but now you're going to remember it because it's easy, right? Three R's. Oh, what's the three R's? Number one, you want to rebuild. What are you going to rebuild? Your immune system. Why do you need to build up your immune system and keep it strong? Is because that is the number one defense you have against disease, any kind of disease, whether it's cancer, lupus, Lyme's, uh, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, I don't care what it is, your immune system is your number one defense. That's the only thing you have in your body actually to fight and overcome any disease. So that always has to be strong, always has to be built. Every single day you need to do that. And the second part of the three R formula that I have is release. Release what? Release the toxins. So this training, of course, is going to be about that. It's going to be about releasing the toxins and how do you do that? Because as you release the toxins, not only are you going to feel better, not only are you going to have more energy, you're going to sleep better, you're going to look better, your skin looks better, your hair looks better, your fingernails. It gets the toxins out of the way to help your immune system, see? So that's the cool part. As you get rid of the junk in your body and down to your blood cells, your immune system says, hey, 
I'm happy. I could kick in and do what I got to do to protect this body. And that's why I love doing the detox and cleansing to give your body every opportunity to do that. Then the third part of the three R's is rebalance. So rebalance what? Your emotions, your mental well-being, your spiritual well-being, all of that really is the basis of all healing. So when your emotions are at a good level and you're feeling good about yourself, you're not worried, there's no anxiety, there's no panic attacks, and you're sleeping well and you're at your peace, you're happy, that means you've rebalanced yourself and that actually affects the pH in your body so that you feel great all the time and your immune system is strong, the toxins don't have a chance, everything is really, really well balanced. So that's the big, the big uh, foundation, the big foundation that you have to have on a daily basis, that rebalancing of your emotions, mental, spiritual well-being. So we're going to start, touch a little bit about those, but mostly on the three R's, we're going to talk about the releasing of the toxins here and how to get started. So how do you start detoxing? Well, there's three steps. And again, I like three because it's easy and not too much to remember. So there's a pre-cleanse, there's a power cleanse, and there's a post-cleanse. So let me walk you through each of these. And when you do these three steps, that's where you really get the results. You know, so many times, like I said, you know, I, I hear people saying, oh, I'm going to go get the supplements. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to change my diet. But really, it's a system that when you do this, it's so easy and you're guaranteed results because your body is not stressed out. You're not going to have a whole lot of uh, Im imbalances and symptoms of detoxing because your body just kind of eases into saying, hey, I'm ready to release the toxins, I'm ready to rebuild, and it doesn't get stressed out. And you know, this whole myth about everybody saying, oh, when you detox, you're gonna have all these horrible symptoms. Not when you do it this way. It's super, super easy when you do it this way, and you get minimal, minimal uh, issues when you do it this way, and that's why I like it, and that's why I think you're going to like it because of that. All right, so let's do a blueprint. Blueprints are easy because you could just look at it and you could write it down and put it on your wall. And that's what I do. I, I like to see things overall and understand it. So I always talk about the pre-cleanse, the power cleanse and post cleanse. And this is the detox 101. So is there a 201? Is there a detox 301? Yes, there is. That's for people then who've been doing detoxing and want more results and all that. But this is the 101 blueprint, right? And the, the core of this is under the pre-cleanse, as you can see, it, I talk about what do you eat? You have light foods, there's some colon herbs, liver herbs, and on the power cleanse, we're going to get into the actual colon cleansing part and the liver cleansing. And in the post-cleanse, it's pretty much the same as the pre-cleanse, light, light foods, colon herbs, liver herbs, all that stuff. So we're gonna get into detail on each and every one of these. So first things first is the food. What do you have? What do you not have? Well, when you do the pre-cleanse, it's only for three days. Now, if you only could do two days, that's fine. That's great. If you can only do one day, that's great. But you got to do at least one day of pre-cleanse. That's like minimum. The best is three days, right? So what do you do? First of all, you have light foods, meaning no dairy, no meat. Dairy foods are your yogurt, your ice cream, your uh, milk, your cheese, okay, those are dairy. Okay, eggs are from chickens, they're not from cows, so it's not technically dairy, although I know everybody always, can I eat eggs? I'm like, yes, because it's from a chicken, not a cow. <laughs> so go ahead and have your eggs, that's okay. But it's the dairy, why? I, I'm not against dairy, I just, uh, there's a few things going on with dairy. It's just, it's very high in fat, that's very, very hard to digest. And what we wanna do, is give your organs a rest. We want to keep the digestion to a minimal. So dairy is very, very hard to digest. And it's a good idea that if you could go three days of no dairy, wonderful, give your body a great rest time. And the same with meat. So I'm talking about red meat. So your beefs, your pork, your lamb, I don't really recommend pork ever because it's a very, very hard meat to digest. But in general, no red meat whatsoever. Now, what will you have instead? Again, this is just an overview. We're going to get into details in just a minute. But your salads, your steamed veggies, quinoa is a great, great green. Very simple to make. 20 minutes, you're done. Way better than rice. 
does not as starchy, it's easy, uh, or vegetable soup. So let's get into a little bit more details, like what does that mean? So here, here's some more ideas. So lentil soup, right? Vegetable soup is great, but sometimes it doesn't hold you, and then you're like hungry, and then and then you email me and like, I'm really hungry, what can I have? And I'm like, well, if you add lentils, that's a little bit more substantial. Sometimes people ask me about bean soup. Bean soup is okay too, but lentil is just an easy, easy uh, type of legume to digest. And then add vegetables. So your carrots, your celery, beets, cabbage, anything you have, broccoli, cauliflower, you know, anything you have in your fridge or um, that's in season is great to mix in the soup. Uh, add a little bit of um, sea salt for seasoning and you're good. It's not really complicated to make. Um, also fresh fruit. Now the apples and berries are the fresh fruit that are great for a pre-cleanse. So many times people ask me, well, what about pineapple and what about bananas and what about uh, mangoes and papaya and all these other fruit? Those are all fine at other times, but when you're doing a pre-cleanse, I'm looking for the foods that are the easiest to digest. The easiest at why? Remember why? Because we want to give your body a rest. We want to give it every opportunity to release the toxins. So apples, especially green apples, the, the Granny Smith apples are great. If you can't get Granny Smith apples, then just regular apples are fine. Berries, your strawberries, your blackberries, your blueberries, your, your raspberries are all wonderful. Should you get them organic? If you can, absolutely, that is the best. If you can't, go down to local farmers, get them, get it from there, it's less sprayed. Uh, if worse comes to worse, you could just go to the grocery store, something is better than nothing, it's fine. Okay, don't stress out about it, it's okay. You do the best you can. That's always the bottom line, you do the very best you can. Now, what about some other proteins? Well, chicken is okay, but it is important to have organic chicken. It, there's two areas that I'm always, encouraging people to understand about uh, the purity of the food and that is when it comes to the meats or anything that comes from animals if you could get it organic or organically grown that's the best so chicken is okay during your pre-cleanse and fish fish that's wild caught so you see here i have a picture about farm fish versus wild fish the farm fish just is not as healthy looking uh, it has more fat in it that's because they're fed food that is really not good and a lot of the farm fish farm fish now have uh, tumors growing in there, they have diseases in there uh, because of the food. And, and there's so many of them in a tank. I used to go see them and yeah, it's not a good situation. So you want, it said wild caught on the package with the fish or you go down to your local fish market and you know where you're getting it from, right? So that's okay as well. Now, let's just go into a pre-cleanse, sample pre-cleanse menu plan. So you kind of have an idea, like how do you do this three day pre-cleanse thing. So well, it's very simple, breakfast. You could have your green smoothie. Now, you could have other things, you know, some people like to have their eggs and toast or they want some fresh fruit, um, that's fine. But um, this is how I start my day and this is not just pre-cleanse, this is how I start my day every day. In fact, while I'm talking to you, I have my green smoothie right here next to me. Uh, it is just a very simple green smoothie. I use either almond milk, uh, rice milk, hemp milk, now they have cashew milk, flaxseed milk, all different kinds. I don't do coconut milk. Coconut is a little bit too heavy for me personally, but some of you, if you like coconut milk, you could do that. You could get just about any kind of plant-based milk nowadays. It's crazy how what a great variety we have now. It's wonderful. And so then I add a little bit of green powder, a scoop of green powder. Uh, that's a type of green powder that has spirulina in it, maybe some alfalfa grass, barley grass, you know, the greens. And then uh, maybe throw some fresh berries in there. So if the, the berries, like the strawberries are in season, add some of those or not. You could do it with or without, either way. And that's breakfast, right? Now in the middle of the morning when you're doing a pre-cleanse is a good, a good time to have your psyllium herb drink. We'll talk about the herb in a minute, but you just take a glass of water and you add a heaping teaspoon of psyllium and psyllium is something that will expand it's very high in fiber and you mix that in the water and you stir it stir it, stir it really really fast because it gets lumpy and then you drink it fast because if you don't it gets kind of like jello so you drink that mid-morning lunch is your steamed veggies your chicken your fish 
uh, kind of thing. And then mid afternoon, have another green smoothie. And the reason I say that is because the green smoothie is so uh, energizing. It has lots of B vitamins and minerals and nutrients. And it's very energizing when you're in the afternoon slump, you're not feeling like, oh, I gotta get through this day. I don't know how I'm gonna get through the day. And you have this green smoothie, it's wonderful. And then dinner is super salad, something light, right? Why? Because the light, um, having something light in the end of the day helps your body to rest and just not worry about digestion so much. So it's super, super important to have something light for dinner when you come home. Plus it's easier to make, right? Okay, Detox 101, the pre-cleanse herbs, um, the colon herbs and the liver herbs. So we talked about the um, psyllium, which is the fiber. And then you want the, um, the one teaspoon, as you can see here, um, mix vigorously in water and drink it down. So it looks, mm, looks kind of like sawdust, but it doesn't taste like sawdust. It actually has no flavor whatsoever. You just mix it up, drink it down, and you're good to go. And then your cleanse herbs. So colon cleanse herbs means something that helps to move your body along. I will have information for you guys um, later on about this, but you need both. You need something with fiber because the fiber scrubs out the colon and gets rid of all that stuff that's been stored in there. And then the actual herb, the colon herb that has maybe some cascara sagrada in it or some uh, turkey rhubarb or something to move it along will help to get the uh, movement, the peristalsis going for your colon and get everything cleaned out. And a lot of times people ask me, just so you know, a lot of times people ask me, well, does that mean I have to stay by the bathroom because, you know, I'm doing this, all this cleansing. And the answer to that is you don't have to worry about for your bowel movements. But what I find because I increase the liquid intake and when I had my clinic and I work with people, the biggest issue was actually urinating. So a lot of times people would drink so much that they weren't used to and they had to find the bathroom to urinate. And so that's the real issue there, okay? Just so you know. So do you have to stay at home for the three day? No, uh, it's okay. You could do this at work. Many, many, many people that I work with have done this at home, not a problem. Okay, and then the liver herb, the best one is dandelion root. Dandelion root is a wonderful herb to stimulate the liver, keep it strong and get those toxins out. The liver is one of the best organs to help get rid of the chemical toxins that have built up, but you have to keep it healthy. And you know, we're exposed to, like I say, all these thousands of toxins. What can help it? It's the dandelion root. It's a wonderful herb to be able to do that. All right, here's some more pre-cleanse tips. Drink one liter of water with one fresh lemon squeeze into it daily. So one liter, basically one quart, uh, you just fill it up with water, room temperature, you slice up your lemon, squeeze it all in there, and you sip on that throughout the day. It's a great, simple liver cleanser. Again, you're just doing this throughout your cleanse. Um, this is for the pre-cleanse, power cleanse, post-cleanse, all of it, but it's such a great habit to, to do when you're cleansing. It's just a, a wonderful way to cleanse the liver. And then you're going to want to make your green smoothie and lemon water in the morning. That's another great tip is make stuff in the morning, make your juices, make your smoothies, everything that you need for the day. And then you don't have to worry about it. And then you could just put it in a little jar and take it to work. You're good to go. And you don't have to worry about it later on. All right. So let's get into the actual power cleanse. This is the real big part of the cleanse. Again, it's only three days. Um, can you do it less? I don't recommend it. Okay. I don't. Three days is the best number. I used to do actually when I had my clinic seven day cleanses, but that was because I was doing all the work. I was doing the juices and the lemon water and the therapies for the people. But what I've learned is over the years, people don't have time for seven days anymore. So what can we do to still give you the results? Well, power cleanse, the minimum that I've ever seen really work so you get results is three days. You can do three days, right? So like on a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday kind of thing, okay? Not that hard. All right, the Detox 101 Power Cleanse therapies that you have to do, there's only three. See, the else? everything is three. Simple, simple, simple. So veggie juices, that's a carrot and celery, half carrot juice, half celery juice. Make it first thing in the morning and you're good to go. Now, if you don't have a juicer, you need to go get a juicer. Some people ask me, what about a Vitamix? What about that? Vitamix is great, but when you're cleansing, you don't want that kind of fiber. That's a hardcore fiber. That's why I recommend the herb, psyllium, for the fiber, because it's softer and easier on your system. 
the vegetable fibers from carrot and celery is a cellulose, a, a type of um, fiber that is, is harder for your body to break down. So that's why I say get a juicer that separates the fiber from the juice and do half carrot, half celery and make your quart first thing in the morning and you're good to go. Then the next thing is for your power cleanse therapy that is very important to do is your detox bath. The detox bath is when you're laying in a tub uh, filled with hot water where you've added two cups of clay. That's a great uh, detox bath. Or you could add two cups of Epsom salts, two cups of sea salt, and two cups of baking soda. Right. So that's the combo bath, what I call the combo bath. So those baths are the two that you could do for your three days. You could do all clay baths if you want to for the three days, or you could do the combo, Epsom salt, sea salt, baking soda, either way. And you just do it for three days, 30 minutes, there you go, done. And you're going to sweat, you're going to have the toxins getting pulled out, um, but not so much that you get sick on it, just enough to get the uh, good start on getting rid of those toxins. And the last therapy that is absolutely important is your coffee enema. Okay, now in the Detox 201 and Detox 301, we talk about other ways to do a colon cleanse, but this is the easiest way to start, which is why I start you guys out on this. It's super, super simple. You're, you're just going to have your bucket. As you can see, this woman is laying on the bathroom floor. She's got a nice comfy blanket. She's got her pillow. She's got her towel, super comfortable. Um, she looks like she just finished her coffee in a month. She looks pretty happy. Okay, it's not real complicated. You just fill up the bucket with uh, your coffee. You insert the, the tip into your rectum and then you allow it to come in and then you sit on the toilet to flush it all out. It's really not that complicated and you feel great because you're stimulating the colon, you're getting rid of the excess fecal matter and it feels wonderful. It, there's nothing like it. It's just a really, really nice feeling. All right, so during your Detox 101 power cleanse, also that what's very important is doing the liver flush, that you do it nightly for your three-day cleanse. So what that means is you're going to have um, a liver flush drink that consists of one cup of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. I don't recommend buying the bottled grapefruit juice. I, I think it's better to have fresh grapefruit juice. Um, three tablespoons of olive oil. The olive oil should be you know, your cold press, extra virgin, you know, the purest you could find, okay? And then one whole fresh lemon. So during this whole cleanse, you're going to be going through a lot of lemons. So make sure you get plenty. And so then you also could add one clove of garlic. You throw all this in the blender and you blend it up, blend it up, blend it up. And then you stick a, throw it in a, a glass, put your straw in there or not, or you could drink this, I like straws personally. And then you drink it down very quickly at nighttime. So before you go to bed, you drink it down. And what that does is the olive oil helps to um, the, get the liver to say, hey, I gotta break down this intensive amount of fat, which is olive oil, uh, a good saturated fat. And then it squeezes and pushes and encourages the gallbladder to squirt more bile in there. Well, as it, this whole process is happening, it says, hey, I've got enough I'm going to squeeze whatever I don't need out and then the, the lemon cuts it down so that it's working synergistically together. So the olive oil is pushing on the liver to say, hey, let's get rid of the stuff that doesn't belong in there and lemon cuts it down so that your body can handle it. The garlic is just there uh, for a few reasons. Garlic is a great cleanser, uh, great antioxidant, but also helps to kill pathogens in the body. So anything from uh, candida to fungus issues of any kind. It's wonderful. So it's a great drink. It doesn't taste really bad at all. Uh, and the big thing is just do it at night right before you go to sleep. Now, other power cleanse how-tos. Here's the routine. Basically, uh, you don't want to really eat during those three days. So there's a little bit of mindset shift that you might have to make. But for three days, you drink every two hours. So you make your lemon water your one quart lemon water and you sip on that all throughout the day. You make your green smoothie. You have two cups of that in the day. You can have more of any of this. Um, this is just the basics. You make your vegetable juice, your one quart, half carrot and half celery. And that's what you're gonna do. Every two hours, you're going to alternate between the lemon water, the green smoothie, the vegetable juice, or you could do it like this. I'll show you the, um, 
the schedule that we're going to talk about. But I just want to address something because sometimes people say, you know what, I just don't think I could go without eating for three days. So if you're hungry, it's okay. You can have some miso soup, you can have some vegetable soup, you can have some steamed veggies. Maybe you could munch on some fresh fruit and berries. Okay, so it's okay. You could have some of that, not a problem. Uh, but if you could go without, that's even better. So here's the schedule. It, power of cleanse schedule is you wake up in the morning and you're going to have two glasses of lemon water, two glasses. Why? Because that's one of the best cleansers for your kidneys and your liver and just flushing out your organs. You wake up in the morning and then you're going to squeeze a uh, half a lemon in there and you're going to drink those two glasses down right away. Now, the other thing you want to add is your probiotics. Probiotics are your healthy bacteria. And when you're cleansing, your body needs extra bacteria, extra healthy bacteria. So it's wonderful to be able to drink your big glasses of lemon water and then having two capsules of probiotics is, is great. And then make your, when you're all done with that routine, you could stretch, move around a little bit, but go ahead and start making your stuff for the day. So make your vegetable juices for the day. You can also make your lemon water and all that stuff. Um, for the day and then you could just relax and just know that you, now you're on a schedule and then uh, breakfast is you're having your green smoothie and then you could do your therapies now I put the therapies here in the morning but you could do the coffee enema anytime if you want to do it uh, right after you have your two glasses of lemon water that's fine if you want to do it in the afternoon that's fine too you want to do it in the evening because it's easier that's okay not a problem just do the coffee enema during your power cleanse it has to be done there's no it's non-negotiable okay that is a non-negotiable therapy it has to do it has to be done so you do your coffee enema how long does it take maybe about 30 minutes okay 30 minutes some people take a little bit longer by the time they set up everything and and whatnot but once you get in the hang of it it's not hard at all and then uh, the other thing you're going to want to do then after your coffee enema is rest it's just take it easy you know you just did all these things and you're running around and making sure you have everything, then rest, just put your feet up, okay, and, and relax. You could sit and watch a funny movie, you could read a book, um, just do something restful. Uh, even if, if it means falling asleep, it's fine. And then drink your lemon water, okay? Don't forget to keep drinking lemon water, keep hydrated and flushing things out. Then lunchtime comes along, this is when you have your vegetable juice and take your liver herbs. So the dandelion herb that I was talking you about, go ahead and take that with your vegetable juice, All right? That's a great, great way to combine those two because the vegetable juices are giving you blood cells the nutrients and the liver herbs start to say, hey, liver, we're going to come take care of you. We're going to build you up and, and help you so that you're not working so hard and doing all these things. So that's what the liver herbs do. And it's a great combination to take them at the same time. And then after you've had that, you you take your time, you're having your vegetable juice, and it's not something you want to gulp down. So many people say, oh, I just want to get rid of this, and they just chug it down. It's food. It's concentrated food. So that's pretty intense. And I know that when I had my clinic and I worked with a lot of people, they kept telling me they had stomach aches from the vegetable juice. So I'm like, why are you having stomach aches from vegetable juice? That doesn't make sense. And so when I started making the vegetable juices in my clinic, I would watch them and that's what they were doing. They were chugging it very fast. They were drinking it really fast. I'm like, oh, that's the issue. Slow it down, sip on it, take your time. There's no rush, swish around a little bit in your mouth. Just take your time. It's kind of like eating a salad, okay? Just go slowly and then your body gets used to it and you don't get the stomach ache. Then after you're all done with that, go ahead and be outside. Go for a walk, go for a bike ride. Uh, spend some time in nature. Just get outside if you can. Uh, if not, do some stretching, do some movement at home, you know, do something where you're moving your body to get the circulation going. And then after all that's done, again, rest. If there's one thing I could tell you, when you're doing these cleanses, the most important part is not the colon cleanse. It's not the juices. It is not all the other things that I've been talking about. It is actually the rest time. The rest time is super important because this is the time your body says, hey, I get to work on getting rid of these toxins I've been holding on to for years. And every single person that does this has the best results. Those other people who don't are like, well, you know, I feel so good. I'm, I'm just, you know, have all this energy and I'm sleeping better. So I'm just gonna go, 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 go. 
And then sure enough, by the third day, they call me and say, I do not feel good. I'm exhausted. What just happened? And I'm like, well, did you rest? And inevitably they're like, no, I had to do all these things and I was feeling so good. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's the issue. So resting at least one hour, preferably more, is the best. And then drink your lemon water uh, along with that. Okay. Now, the finishing up the power cleanse schedule, dinner time, is again your vegetable juices and your liver herbs. Um, and that's the combination for that. And then you have your evening routine. So this is when you do your detox bath. This is where you're going to either do the clay bath or the combo bath. So again, the clay bath is your two cups of either powdered clay or liquid clay. Uh, you just go down to the health food store or you go on Amazon. Um, there's many different ways to get it. It's not a problem. And you just put that in your bath water and you're fine. Now, so many people ask me, well, will the clay cause problems in my plumbing? And I have done my research. I have asked the companies that have been selling the clay for over 20 years, some of them, and they said they've never, ever, ever had heard of anybody having plumbing issues. And that's from three different companies. And I have used it in my plumbing, never had a problem. So I think you'll be fine. It's just that clay is a great way to pull out toxins and get rid of the toxins that have been stored up for a long time. Um, or you could do the combo bath, right? So the combo bath, again, is two cups Epsom salt, two cups of sea salt, and two cups of baking soda. Soak 30 minutes, rinse, take a, take a um, shower, rinse everything off, you're fine, and go rest. And then you could have your psyllium drink um, about an hour or so after. So again, that's a teaspoon of psyllium herb, you mix it in water, and this is also when you take your colon herb. So this is the one that moves things along, like your cascara, sagrada, or something like that. And then right before bed, okay, you're going to get your liver flush drink ready. So you get all the ingredients ready, you whip it up in the blender, you put it by your nightstand, and then you go lay down. And of course, bed by 10. <laughs> so you don't want to go to bed too late. You want to give your body plenty of time to rest. So you want to get to bed by 10. So as you're getting ready for bed, you drink that liver flush drink down and that really helps your liver to cleanse out. Best, best time truly is at nighttime yeah, to take that liver flush drink to help your liver cleanse out. All right, so what do you do? You just did your pre-cleanse, great job. You just did your power cleanse, great job. Now you have all that done. Now, what do you do after? So this is the Detox 101 post-cleanse. And again, three days if you can. If you can only do one day, that's okay. If you can only do two days, that's okay. Um, but three is the best. So it's pretty much the same as the pre-cleanse. It's just going to eat light, no meat, no dairy. And you're not gonna want to really eat it because you, you just went through this and you think in your mind, you could, like you could hardly wait to go back to eating those other foods, but really your body is like, hey, I just got cleaned out. Like, you know, if you just took a great shower and cleaned up, do you want to really go jump in a mud bath? No, not really. Uh, do you want to get dirty after, you know, your clothes came home from the cleaners or you just did laundry? No, you, no. So same idea with your body. You don't want to mess it up. So no meat, no dairy. Take, take some time to allow your body to kind of ease back into the whole routine of uh, your daily life. You also want to uh, be aware that taking your colon herbs and liver herbs and whatnot are fine. You could continue on that for the three days after in your post cleanse. And the cool part about that is, again, that's the time it's going to help your immune system. Okay, it could continue by making sure your colon is working well, that your liver is cleansing still, and then your immune system says, hey, I'm feeling great. I'm going to be able to continue on and make sure that my immune system is strong to get rid of the disease or to make sure that disease never steps in. That's the whole deal there. So keep it simple and easy, folks. The biggest thing that happens is we're like, oh my goodness, there's so much here, I just can't imagine. So let's go over it. You're going to eat light, so you're going to have fresh veggies, you're going to have fresh fruit, you're going to have chicken or fish that's organic. Um, your power cleanse, you're gonna have your green smoothies, you're going to have your vegetable juice, one quart, your lemon water, one quart. Um, your supplements, you're going to do your colon cleanse herbs to move your colon along, and your psyllium and your probiotics. That's the only three supplements you need. And then your therapies are going to be your coffee enema. That's it. You know, that's that's it. 
um, it's pretty simple to make sure that that power cleanse and the post cleanse is all and pre cleanse, power cleanse, and post cleanse are all taken care of, right? So why does my detox one on one work? Well, because you can see it's super simple to get started. And then plus you have expert guidance. You know, I've been doing this for over 30 odd years, not only for myself, uh, where I saw the greatest success, but for thousands of other people as well. And you get uh, motivational weekly tips. I make sure that those of you who get started on this and are ready, say, yeah, it's time to get rid of the toxins. It's time for me to move along here. So what you wanna do is you want to stay motivated and that's what i love to do i love to show you the easy way uh, to stay motivated and on track so that you don't have to worry about disease taking over right so all it is is just following the blueprint you get your pre-cleanse you figure out what dates you're going to set that up for you get it all ready you get your mindset yeah i'm going to do this three-day pre-cleanse then i'm going to do this power cleanse i'm going to do the post cleanse so i laid it out super super easy for you I mean, you guys could see this blueprint right it's really easy and and again i'm not able to get into a whole lot of details because we have a very short amount of time but you got got a great idea of what it takes that it's not that hard when you see that the system is all laid out for you already. That's why my Detox 101 works. Now the Detox 101 can get you started on the right track. So you're not sitting there trying to figure out, oh, okay, I just read this on the internet, and I read this book and you know, I'm not really sure about it. So I took all that pain out of that so that you know that this system works because I've done it on thousands and thousands of people. And plus it keeps you organized, right? It's like everything is laid out in the blueprint so that you could see, oh, okay, this is what I have to do for the pre-cleanse. Here's the foods I have to have. Here's the menu plan. Here's what I have to take. Done. Super easy. And then the biggest thing, what I love, is that you're going to get results. I know that I know that I know. If you follow this as closely as you possibly can, you definitely will get results. There's no doubt in my mind. I've just done this too many times. I know without a doubt you're going to get results. So here's what you get with the whole Detox 101 Get Started program. You get checklists. So I have all the checklists of what you need, the food list. So when you go shopping, it's like, oh yeah, I need five pounds of lemons. I need you know, a certain amount of carrots and celery. You'll know exactly what you have to do because you have all the lists. You, you won't be running around willy-nilly thinking, oh, I forgot this and I forgot that. No, everything is organized for you. You're also going to have um, the juice recipes. Again, it's super easy. I include the green smoothie recipes in there, the shopping list uh, for what you need for your supplements, the shopping list, what you need for your therapies, all that's included, plus your liver cleanse instructions. So uh, I know I went over it briefly, but I have all the details about how to actually do the liver flush and the liver herbs and all that, the colon cleanse instructions, and then the natural therapy supplies. So it's one-stop shopping. That's why, I, that's why I did this for you. So it's not so uh, frustrating to run around and try to figure this out on your own. You also get the video tutorials. So this is really how you learn to do the detox one-on-one to get started. I have a video tutorial on how to get started and that's a full hour of where I really get into the details of organizing, getting everything in order, your mindset, how to get started. Everything is really uh, taught in detail. And I also get into how to get the best results detoxing. So that's when I get into much more details about the foods and the therapies. And then how to detox your organs. So we talked about the colon and liver, but you know, what about your skin? What about your lungs? What about your kidneys, right? There's a few other organs in there that need to be detoxed. And then how to get the most out of your cleanse. Because you know, the, when you first get started, you could waste so much time and money when you don't know how to get the most out of your cleanse. And you're trying all these different things and just, really wasting a lot of time and it's frustrating seeing the money go out the door and not getting the results so in this video tutorial i show you exactly how to get the most out of your cleanse so you do get the results that you're looking for right that's the bottom line and then here's the best news i have a facebook private group for members only so those of you who decide yeah you know it's time and i want to connect with other people what kind of results are they getting and that is encouraging i know i get on facebook not to chit chat with people so much as to hear how other people are doing and and then to offer support or to listen and a lot of times people come up with some really cool things and a great example of this is that um 
somebody was having trouble with the the green powder i don't know if it's the type that they picked or whatever and and so somebody jumped on and says oh just add a dash of cinnamon and the cinnamon will take away that flavor and actually make it taste better and so the person did and it changed it changed the way they were able to drink that smoothie down right so stuff like that it's so always fun to share great ideas with each other and I actually have more good news that um, there's 30 days of unlimited questions. So when you guys get on to the Detox 101 Get Started program, you're like, okay, I need somebody to talk to. That's me. I will walk you guys through and answer each and every one of your personal questions. No problem. I'll take care of that all when you get started. Plus, I have some power bonuses too. So I threw this in because um, these are really hot topics that uh, you have told me over the years that are important. So I have these super powerful video tips like why you can't lose your belly fat. So I don't promote weight loss programs, but I do know that belly fat is an issue because the toxins are stored in there. So it's important to know how to lose it properly and understand why you have it. So I made a video tip on that. I also have a video tip on make small changes to see big results. So as you can see, small, small, small changes little little bit at a time and if you do the right ones that's the key when you do the right ones that's when you see big results and then also I have a video tip on the in-home detox therapies how to do them and some cool tips on that and then I also have a video tip on the three herbs to eliminate sugar cravings what to do when you have sugar cravings my goodness like everybody seems to have sugar cravings. I know I certainly did and I struggled for years because I grew up in a European home and we had sugar dessert of some kind at almost every meal. It was crazy. So it took me a long time to learn. And so I put the three herbs that helped me and then help my people in my clinic that really, really work. And then the last video tip I have is low cost effective immune boosters. So remember, your immune system is your number one system to fight against any and all disease. And you got to know which immune boosters really work and make a difference. So none of these are super intense, but all of them will get you results when you watch them. So I include that in this whole program. So the special is that this Detox 101 Get Started includes the video tutorials, includes your checklist, your private Facebook group, your 30-day email support unlimited, plus all the bonuses. And all this Get Started is just for $27. That's it, $27 for the next 24 hours only and then the bonuses are gone, okay? All those extra video tips and all the extra things I have for bonuses will be gone. So just get on the bandwagon and all you have to do is go to judysegerdetox.com forward slash detox 101 hyphen pay. And that is the place you go to to hop on board and get into the detox 101. Now, I do have a fast action bonus. So if you say, yeah, you know what, I'm ready. I really want to get started. So for the next 24 four hours only, for the first five people who want to get in on this, you get a 30-minute personal phone consult with me. So not only do you get 30 days of unlimited support, you also get to hop on the phone with me. Now, obviously, I can't do everybody. That's why I have to limit to five. And I can only do it when I'm available. So, you know, if you call, get on today, uh, you might have to wait a couple of days to get in with me, but that's okay. I'll make sure that I'll get on with you personally and take care of you. So that is your fast action bonus if you get on. So again, where do you go? You go to www.judysecretdetox.com forward slash detox 101 hyphen pay. That's where you go. Now, here's what you do next. You go right over to that page judysecretdetox.com forward slash detox 101 hyphen buy and you're going to get an email that will give you the download so you're going to get the videos on how to get started you're going to get the checklist you're going to get everything you need to on how to get started and then as soon as you do that and you get in on the program for $27 you'll instantly be able to start asking me questions via email right and it's super easy. I mean, I, I made it as easy as I possibly could for you because I want to see you get results. And so after you get in, just you make sure you watch the video tutorials, 
Download those downloads. So many times people like say, oh, okay, I just bought it. I'm all excited and I'm going to download, you know, over the weekend. And I'm like, no, do it now because I know you'll forget. I know I certainly do. We get inundated with all this stuff. So make sure you do that. And then join the private Facebook group. Get on, get on there and say, hey, I'm here and I got some questions. And is anybody else going through any stuff that I'm going through? And let's just start talking and learning and staying motivated, right? So where do you go? judysecretdetox.com forward slash detox 101 hyphen buy. That's where you got. Now, one last super special I want to share with you guys, and it's available definitely for a limited time only, is you say, look, I'm really interested in getting started. What am I going to do after that? Remember I said there's detox 201, there's detox 301, and I have motivational stuff to do all year round because you can't just do detoxing once and call it good. So what I did was I created a super special that is 97 for the whole year. And what that includes is unlimited support with me, meaning email. You could ask me all the questions you want all throughout the year. You get weekly video tips and people have loved that. I have been making those since last year and people have really enjoyed seeing a short, short video tip to keep them on track. And it's, you know, it could be something really super simple, like, hey, you know, what's the holidays? And I got, you know, all these people that are inviting me to, what can I do to stay on my program? Or, you know, what are some tips to do after the holiday, right? It's stuff like that, that keeps you motivated and, and keeps you from really falling off the wagon and feeling good and not having to worry about disease. The reason I, I'm doing this super special, this 97 for the year, which I never do. I, my programs are usually hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but I really want to get you guys on board to keep you motivated because when you have somebody like me to guide you and motivate you and be your cheerleader each and every week, it's a thousand times easier. You don't feel like you're by yourself, right? You don't feel like you're the only one out there. It's like, oh, there's some other people out there. And then the second part of that is you know that you're doing everything possible to keep from getting sick or to keep from getting diseases you know, that are seriously coming in now because of all the toxins. So that peace of mind for $97 a year is really awesome because then you know without a shadow of a doubt you are on the right track with somebody who could really guide you down the path. So that's why I included it here. So that 97 for the year includes the Detox 101, the Detox 201, Detox 301, whatever other detox numbers I got coming up, who knows what's in my brain later on. But always, always you will have guidance. Always, always, always you will have video tips and unlimited support to make sure that you have everything you need. So you want to hop on board. Uh, again, it's for a limited time. This is not, you know, something that I'm going to keep up forever. It's, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I have bills to pay just like everybody else. And so I do these specials when I can. And then after that, then what we do is make sure that um, we have other other things that we could help keep you motivated and stuff. So the $97 a year really comes down to what, like about eight bucks a month? Wow. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's crazy. Not even I think about it, but 97 for the year, or you say, you know what? I don't really want the whole year thing. I just want to get started. That's 27. Not a problem. You go to this page, judysecretdetox.com. That's my website. You just got to make sure you put forward slash detox 101 hyphen buy, and both offers will be there. So you'll see a button for the 27 and you'll also see a button for the 97. Super simple, right? Put everything on one page and it'll be there um, just for a short time and then it'll be gone it'll be gone as good things sometimes do they go away i don't go away though you never have to worry about that i'm here for you i'll make sure that i'm going to guide you and be with you hold your hand as we go through this you know it's a comfort i think that i could offer that that in my experience my 30 years experience that i can offer something to you to comfort you and give you peace of mind that you have somebody to walk you down this path so that's the whole program Hop on board if you're, if you're ready and make sure that um, you get yourself on track. All right, that's the whole webinar training. Thank you so much, each and every one of you for listening. Thank you for being on here. I appreciate you. If you have any questions, certainly uh, shoot me an email. You go to my website and shoot me an email and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. All right, take care everybody. God bless.